you're trying to get gifts for somebody who's traveling in the near future, I have some great ideas for things that they'll totally love to have for their trip. Or if you're the one who's going to Europe, send this on to your friends and family. So did you know that if you're located in the US, you can actually buy somebody an Airbnb gift voucher or a gift card? As far as I can tell, it's only available for people who are located in the US so far. But if you know someone who's gonna be traveling to Europe and they haven't booked their accommodation yet, then that's a great option because they're probably gonna be spending a lot of money on booking places to stay and you can help them out with that. Everything I talk about in this video, I will have a link to down in the description box, including a, I think it's $31 off of your first Airbnb booking, which you can pass along to them as well. So they get extra savings. If you know that your gift recipient wants to travel Europe by train, then getting them a Eurorail pass could be a really great gift especially if they're on a budget because they're not the cheapest. There are a couple ways you can go about this. The first is to talk to the person you're getting the gift for to see which kind of pass they want and then purchase it for them that way. It won't really be a surprise, but you kind of can't just wing it and say, oh, maybe they'll like this pass. They have to plan out their trip and figure out what they want to do and pick out the best pass for them. Or you can get a gift card voucher thing for Rail Europe, which is a seller of your rail passes. So you can get them like $50, $100 and help contribute towards their rail pass. If your recipient will be spending some time in Europe's major cities like London and Dublin, and they're planning on doing lots of sightseeing, then something like the London Pass or Hop On Hop Off Tour bus ticket could be a great option. You've probably watched the video that's popping up here about what the London Pass is, but there's also one in Dublin, Vienna, Paris, and Berlin, and you know it gets them free access to lots of the biggest attractions around each city. I also have a video about how hop on hop off tours work specifically for London, but they're pretty much the same around the world and they're available in cities all over the place. So you can watch that video next too if you think that might be a nice option. If your recipient will always want to be connected to the internet, but won't have an international phone plan like most of us won't when we go abroad, then getting them a pocket Wi-Fi device rental could be a great option. What that is is essentially this little thing that can keep in your pocket and it connects to the Wi-Fi in whatever country that they're in and then you can connect your phone to that it's kind of like a little hotspot. You can connect your phone up to like usually three or four devices. So if there's somebody that likes to Instagram all the time, if you want to be able to WhatsApp them, or if they're just constantly Snapchatting, this could be a great option. And also it could be something that they didn't think they could afford or that they just never thought to get. A great stocking stuffer idea is to get a refillable water bottle. It's much tougher to get free tap water in Europe than it is in like say the US. So instead of having to keep buying water bottles when they're out and about, which could get expensive, a refillable water bottle will be very much appreciated. And they even have ones that are like collapsible and they can be just rolled up and put into your bag. So I'll leave links to good ones down in the description box. Kindles are great ideas for people who love to read when they're traveling. Especially if they're gonna be traveling around Europe to a few different places. Reading is a great way to pass the time when they're on the train or the plane. I have a Kindle and while I love the smell of a good book or the feeling of the pages and whatever they all say. I totally get that, but I cannot be asked to lug a couple of books around with me on my holiday. So my Kindle works out perfectly. Don't forget to also get them an Amazon gift card so that they can buy a bunch of books and download it to their Kindle before they go. I found this really cute idea on Anthropology the other day for a small little gift. It's these little how to read a menu booklets that essentially are these little pocket guides that help you read menus in France, Spain, or Italy. So if your recipient's going to these places but doesn't really speak the language, then I think that they'll put this to good use. Also a really good idea for like a secret Santa gift. For more travel related gift ideas, make sure you watch my travel lovers gift guide, which is popping up like right here.